Hey, Laura here with Cox Homestead, and today I'm going to go over ways to hold your rabbit to prevent those nasty scratches that they so quickly give you. First, I'm going to start with this rabbit right here. It is about 12 weeks old, getting close to dispatch age, and its nails are really sharp. So sometimes when it comes to getting them in and out, you need a safety mechanism for yourself to protect you from those rabbits. Now, most of my rabbits are pretty docile, so I don't have to use this often. But given a time where I have a wild rabbit that I know just will tear me up, I have very few of those, but when I do, a way I can hold them when they're this young is I can get right above their hip bones right in here and I can grab it there and it kind of neutralizes them to where they cannot scratch me they cannot hurt me and it does not hurt them now like I said this bunny really doesn't need me to hold it that way but um, for demonstration purposes I wanted to show you that another way that you can say protect yourself from your rabbits is by grabbing them as we say by the scruff but the problem I have with that is it puts undue stress on their skin causing their eyes to bulge out. I don't even want to demonstrate that for you. So what I do if I can grab them easier like that, especially as they get bigger, your bigger rabbits are harder to grab by their hips and you really don't want to. I'll grab them like this and I'll immediately support them underneath. Again, neutralizes the rabbit to where it cannot scratch me or hurt me and it doesn't hurt them. See, this rabbit is so good. I don't even have to use those mechanisms. Um, and that's something that I like to keep bred into my rabbit line is this awesome demeanor. Look how cute. Okay. Now, rabbits like to feel safe and secure. And one way that you can help a rabbit feel safe and secure is to make sure all four of their feet are supported at one time. This is some basic instructions I give every person that comes on my farm and wants to hold a rabbit. So one way you can do that is by resting all four paws against you like this. However, their natural tendency will be to start climbing up you. That's when you may have to use one of your removal techniques of grabbing it by the hip or by the scruff. This one's like, I'm being good, mom. Why are you being mean to me? <laughs> Not being mean, my dear, just being a mother. Because you are in control of this animal. That is another thing. When it feels safe and secure is when it knows who's boss and who's protecting it and that it is safe. A rabbit turned out like this, does not feel safe and secure. It feels vulnerable. It feels like it could be easily attacked, is more likely to scratch you. I'm supporting it because I don't want it just hanging there. But holding a rabbit like this is more likely to cause you scratches and harm. Another way you can hold them um, is on your lap with all four feet uh, supporting it. Another way is just on the ground between your legs. They're a simple animal once you learn how they prefer to be held and how they like to feel safe and secure. Oftentimes if I have one that starts crawling up me, I can just apply a little bit of pressure. I call it give your rabbit a hug and it will calm them down, help them feel safe and secure and, and help them to not want to climb up you. The time when I get scratched the most is getting my rabbits in and out of the cage. It's times of transition when you're most likely to get hurt by your rabbit. That is, they are a little bit stubborn and may not want to get out of the cage, or they're a little bit excited to get back in their cage and they're trying to help you by jumping back in. This is, if you are new to rabbits, this is when it's important to maybe wear some safety sleeves or some um, thick long sleeves. If you'll notice, denim is my favorite shirt and there's more than one reason that is the case. Um, first of all, I just think I look amazing in denim. Second of all, it is thick and hardy against rabbit claws. Third of all, it does a great job absorbing sweat. <laughs> uh, I think that's the reasons I love denim. But I wear a lot around the farm because of the rabbits. So when it comes to children handling rabbit, I do not like for children to handle rabbit without adult supervision until they've learned the mannerisms of the rabbit. That being said, a small child handling a large rabbit can cause a lot of damage and scratching to that child. Once that child is confident and knows the mannerisms of a rabbit, I do think it's totally possible for children to care for rabbits.
However, if your child is insecure, not confident in handling that rabbit, do not let them do it without your direct supervision and help. That's good. Something else to watch out for is that some rabbits like to nibble. This rabbit is not, but I have some that when something's in front of their face, they'll have a tendency to want to chew on it, pull on it, and sometimes it can hurt a little bit. So you have to watch out for that. Now, mean rabbits will downright bite you. Um, oftentimes, a mean rabbit is hormonal. Um, they're of age, sexual maturity, and they're not being bred, or they've been abused or abandoned, or something like that could have... Um, could lead towards a rabbit being a little bit more aggressive and mean. However, if you are getting a good line of rabbits from a good breeding stock, you should have docile animals. Um, just like this one here. So in summation, it's important to let your rabbit know that you are confident in holding it and handling it and that you are in charge of that rabbit. Just like a horse can read body language, so can a rabbit. The rabbit is going to know if you are not confident in handling it because it's going to sense your insecurity and it's more likely to be spooked and to freak out and it is a prey animal so it likes to feel safe and secure all the time and that includes when you're holding it I hope you enjoyed this brief video on handling rabbits if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and um, I will do my best to answer those. If you haven't hit subscribe already, go ahead and hit subscribe and share this video with anyone you know that may be having trouble handling their rabbit. Until next time, eat more rabbit! Look how sweet it is, it's just hanging out. This is a doe. I might just need to keep her. She's that sweet. Actually, I have... Okay, now why am I telling you this? Okay. It's a little hot out here. I'm shiny. <sighs> Sound like that rooster's out. Alright, what next? The top... I do not like for children to handle rabbits without adult... Sub without adult... I Look at his little paw! Oh my gosh, this poor rabbit. She's gonna get treated. Okay.